fascinated. We're not even on yet. I'm asking you all these questions. Uh, she knows all about the hive mind, and she knows how to, like, literally how to get honey. Like, you do this stuff. Isn't that amazing? Uh, we have a beekeeper and owner of Girl Next Door Honey, Hillary Kearney, in the house. Hi, Hillary. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. Uh, I was looking at all this stuff, and this, I'm fascinated by that. I think bees are cool, and I told you, I've never been stung in my life. Knock on wood. Yeah, I've been saying a lot. Have I, you? I don't count anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what you do now Every at this point. <laughs> where where did your love of bees come from? Like, how does that start? Well, Most always, people are like, ah, yeah. Me. I've always liked nature and gardening and stuff, but um, you know, I grew up here. I was like a beach California girl. Yeah, yeah. Didn't really know, but I just kind of picked up a book. Got fascinated. When you really read up on bees and what they do and how they operate, it is an unbelievable uh, it is fascinating super what complex. they can do yeah super complex is right uh, how important is it to help our bees in terms of, of what they do for us for life for nature the whole cycle of, of things right so they're like very critical for agriculture right. our agricultural system now like just couldn't exist without yeah. bees plus you know they pollinate non agriculture just plants that are around yeah. in the ecosystem so um, one in every three bites of food you eat, pollinated by a bee. Like, one in three, isn't that something? <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. And a lot of the plants. Okay, uh, I know you love bees. You must be chock full of uh, fun facts. I love fun facts. Yeah. Give me a couple of bee fun facts that maybe we don't know. Okay, so like half the bees in the hive are what we call foragers. They leave, okay. you know, they leave this hive every day. Every They're day. They're going to flowers. They're going to work. And. Each one of those trips could be up to three miles out and three miles back. You're kidding. And if you think about their body size, that's like us going from LA to San Francisco in 15 minutes. Goodness Multiple gracious. times a day. So. <laughs> this is a dumb question. How do they yeah. know where to go? They just kind of. They do a dance to tell each other how to get to the flowers. They have a dance language. Um, wow. to give each other directions. They also can tell time because they have to know what time certain flowers are blooming. They memorize it and they do a little schedule. How do, how, how? <laughs> they have one of the densest like animal brains in terms of like number of neurons yeah, yeah. per space. Which is impressive. Yeah. Um, what do you do if you get stung? I mentioned I've never been stung. I, I've seen on the YouTube, they do the credit card thing. Does that actually work? You know what that? I think works best? Just yeah. curse really loudly. <laughs> and then the that'll thing make pops you up and you, 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 you know, ow! in the first something like first 10, 20 seconds, yeah. most of the venom is already in. And yeah. so like how you get it out doesn't really matter. Like yeah. I just use my fingernail, just, um, flick, it off, yeah. just flick it out and Whoa. that's it. That's the best. Okay. Um, yeah. What happens because we've seen, um, and this happened at my house a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. we were in the pool, a big swarm of bees came up over the hill, mm -hmm. kind of hovered over the pool and then flew up over our house. What happens if you're caught up in a swarm like that? Just kind of get low to the ground or okay. just move out of it slowly. The main thing is like not to panic. Actually when bees are doing that, they're just looking for a place to live. They're not trying to attack anyone. Yeah. So if you don't like swat at them and lose your mind, you'll, you should be okay. Interesting. Uh, give me a little uh, rundown of what you brought. This is... This is a hive. So That's this is, an actual hive. That yeah. looks like a, a, a little house. Yeah, it's a bee house. You know, <laughs> so bee house, if yeah. you're a beekeeper, this is where you keep your bees in. Right. They live in there and they can come and go as they please out the front. Um, this is a smoker, which we use for keeping the bees calm. Um, yeah, that's fascinating because I've seen that. Be, w yeah. w why does that keep them calm? So they communicate, another way they communicate is with pheromones, with scent, okay. and this blocks out the smell. It's like a oh, campfire blowing at them. Yeah, they yeah. can't talk to each other and say, hey, we feel scared, wow. basically. Okay, yeah, cool. And then this is um, a frame of honeycomb. So. Um, we harvested this uh -huh. and you can eat it just like this in the comb or you can crush it and strain the honey out. Wow. And I've got two jars of honey here and you can see they're like totally different colors. I just yeah. wanted to show the variety yeah, we have here in San Diego. Uh -huh. This is a, a wheel that I made, a flavor wheel, just show you some of the different flavors that can come out of honey. I think honey is really underappreciated. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have never had real honey because what's in the store is mostly corn syrup right, and just right. fake stuff. So but. those are all varieties? Like, what's what, why is one weird? <laughs> what, well, okay. One variety of honey is weird. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of jokes now when I walk up, but why is it? <laughs> well, there's just all these different flavors you can pull it. Like, it could be fruity, floral, botanical, right. nutty, spicy. Yeah. Um, but in the weird section, like, you could have honey that tastes like cat pee. You I'm sorry. Have, yeah. right, time out. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. You can have honey that tastes like cat pee. Yes. That's actually 
That's on there. <laughs> and yes, Hillary, that yeah. is weird. <laughs> yeah. Why? Um, just the different flowers produce socks? different socks. Um, yeah. Clean or dirty? Fish. <laughs> we, yeah. Cheese. Cheese, butter. butter. Uh, listen, before, you have your now third book, yeah. uh, Heart of the Hive. What is in that book and, and who's it for? Like, who's the audience? Uh, anyone can read this book. It's not just for beekeepers. It's really okay. nature writing. Yeah. So if you want to understand bees better, if you want to know, you know why they go to one plant in your garden and not the other, sure. if you want to know why they're in your pool and that kind of thing, all the smart stuff they do, yeah. this book is for you. Love it. It's just all about honeybee behavior. Look at that. Uh, Heart of the Hive, the book event, is happening September 22nd at 4 p.m. City Farmer's Nursery and September 27th at 7 p.m. at The Book Catapult. Love that name. <laughs> uh, Hillary, thank you. Fascinating yeah, stuff. If you want to learn more about where to see her and everything else, fox5sandiego.com. Click the scene. You know that Dylan Cease who threw the no-hitter for the Padres? Yeah. Beekeeper. Oh, I and didn't know dad, that. They, they, they had their beekeepers. That's Isn't cool. Isn't that amazing? That is cool. Fun little fun fact. Uh, thank you so much for coming. We Thanks appreciate for it. Have me. fun. Uh, we'll be right back.